in this section, we want to look at an experiment to show that water is a poor thermal conductor. What I have with me is ice. We have some ice cube here um, on, a, uh, on a dish. And then we have a test tube made of glass, a boiling tube rather, made of glass. And then we have the source of heat. We have some water here, which we want to heat. And then we have some wire goes. And this is how the experiment goes. I'm going to introduce some ice cubes inside the boiling tube and take it all the way to the bottom and then add water uh, before that we want to have the wire goes go all the way to the bottom to hold the ice and prevent it from floating when we finally pour our water. You know that ice is less dense than water. So it's likely to float, so we keep it at the bottom. Then we are going to heat the water near the top near the top part and observe what happens. So heating water near the top using a Bunsen flame. The source of heat is near the surface of water in the boiling tube. And we can see water uh, begins to boil at the surface while ice cube, while ice cube at the bottom is still intact. In the experiment we have just done, we observe that when a piece of ice at zero degrees Celsius is trapped by a coil of wire goes at the bottom of the test tube filled with water, also at zero degrees Celsius, it does not melt. The ice does not melt when water in the test tube is heated at the top. Let's go.